if you're looking for a fast and thin laptop, Asus makes one that's under a grand that'll fit the bill. Now this here is the Asus VivoBook S14 S435, and it's a thin and light 14-inch laptop. Now this has a Intel i7-1165 G7 processor in it. This processor is both powerful and energy efficient. It also has 8 gigs of LPDDR4 RAM and a 512 gig NVMe SSD. This also has Wi-Fi 6 and Thunderbolt 4. With specs like these, this system is built to perform. Now let's unbox it, shall we? Alright, let's crack this open. Oh look, there's something for you. Alright, let's see what's in here for me. Now this was a open box purchase from Newegg, so it was a bit cheaper than the one brand new in a box. But let's take a look and see what condition it is in. Looks like this might actually have just been a retail model. We've got the power block, which is USB-C. Got something here that has an RMA number on it. Wow the world. Asus VivoBook. Got the manuals and instructions on downloading my Asus. Let's see what's inside of here. And there's some stickers to put on the laptop, I guess, if you want to. Now let's see if this thing will boot up without charging it. The likes are free. And it looks like it came with a free charge as well. While it's booting up, I'll go ahead and plug in the USB power adapter. And here we go. Alright, let's get this set up. Go ahead and turn that off because Cortana is more annoying than anything else. Now here I'm going to say I don't have internet because it is Windows Home, so that way I can create a local account. Turn off everything that we don't want. Not now. Don't want McAfee. And there we go. So now we have a local account. And I'm going to go ahead and get it online and start installing all of the updates. Now that's interesting. It says there's one minute to full charge, which means it was shipped almost completely charged. Now that we're connected to Wi-Fi, I'm going to go ahead and start downloading updates. Going to start, settings, scrolling down, update and security. And we wait a very long time, apparently. There we go. Check for updates and let it run. So now Windows updates are installing, and as you can see right here, McAfee has weaseled its way in onto this brand new Asus. So after we install the updates, I'm going to go ahead and uninstall McAfee because, well, it just plain sucks. And Windows Defender is better, and it's always free. Other than Windows updates, I did not install anything else on this laptop yet. Now if we take a look and see what is already installed, Asus doesn't really install much extra stuff on the machines as bloatware that you would normally see with other manufacturers. So that's just something to consider when you're purchasing a laptop, is how much stuff you have to remove after you buy it. Here I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to uninstall the McAfee software, and that's it.
Windows Defender is sufficient protection for most environments. It even has anti-ransomware functionality that you can enable with the click of a button. I'll go ahead and leave a card somewhere here on the screen if you want to go ahead and check out the tutorial on how to do that. This is equipped with the latest Intel i7 EVO processors. And check this out. Need a number pad? There you go. It's got a very bright IPS screen as well. On the left side it has two Thunderbolt ports, a HDMI port, and also a headphone jack. And you also over here have a fingerprint reader right next to the EVO sticker for Windows Hello. On the right side it has a micro SD card slot and two standard USB A ports. The ASUS VivoBook has a nice matte finish on the top of the laptop. On the bottom of the laptop you can see it has ventilation for enhanced cooling. I want to show you a couple of quick cool things that this laptop can do. If you hold down the function key and press the letter F, you can actually cycle through performance mode, balanced mode, and whisper mode. Now also if you hold down the function key and press F12, it will bring up the ASUS software. Now if we click on the rocket over here, you can actually change the settings here for the battery health charging, the performance, the display, how the function key lock default function is configured, Wi-Fi Smart Connect, and the clear voice microphone settings that uses AI to be able to remove background noises. You can also schedule the priority of the tasks that are running on the machine for optimal performance. So you get a brand new Windows computer and it came with Microsoft Edge. What do you use it for? Well, I'll show you. You open it up and type in get firefox.com and then hit enter. Here you go ahead and just click on download Firefox. It starts to download it. Click on open file. Hit yes if prompted. Wait for it to install. Hit yes again. And now we have a real web browser. So now we can just close out Edge and never use it again. Now you can also repeat this process with Chrome if you prefer that as well, or the Brave browser.